Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! In this video, I will be showing you how to approach your first custom doll. How exciting! But before we begin to draw a face, you need to choose a doll. There are plenty of dolls at the toy store, but if you don't want to buy a brand new expensive doll just yet, check thrift stores or eBay for used toys. It's a great cheaper alternative, and a good way to warm up to this hobby. Plus, you're saving a chunk of plastic from the landfill. Good stuff all around. If you do decide to purchase a new doll, try to buy ones with imperfections in the paint job so you can leave the better dolls for kids and collectors. Here's a lineup of dolls I have with their faces already removed. As you can see, the Monster High and Ever After High dolls have a beautiful variety in face shapes, skin tones, and even body types, which is pretty impressive for dolls. Choose the doll that most closely matches your vision. Draculaura, Claudine, Laguna, and Cleo Denial are some of the more common dolls and make great bases for repainting. Some dolls have more noticeable molding, like Avia Trotter here. This can make it easier to paint because the guidelines are already in place, but at the same time limits your options for ways to draw the eye shape. Also, keep in mind that the same doll can turn out looking incredibly different depending on how you paint it. Pretty cool. If you feel like you need some inspiration, head over to Instagram or Pinterest. A quick search of the hashtag ogre or hashtag repaint will yield countless masterpieces by artists around the world. About this video. Of course, this is only one way to draw a face. There are countless techniques and ways to approach a doll, and there is no one correct method to do it. So have fun, and remember that this video is more like a guideline to help you get started if you're not sure where to begin. We're going to be doing this in 10 steps, more or less. Let's start! I will be using Cleo Denial because she's a fairly common doll with a medium skin tone. Good for the sake of this tutorial. If you don't know what supplies to use, click here or see the description box below for a link to a video where I discuss all the materials you'll need for doll customizing. Let's remove her factory paint first. Take your acetone, wet the end of a Q-tip, and lift off the factory paint using scooping motions. I take off the majority of the paint using Q-tips, and then give the entire face a wipe down with an acetone soaked tissue. If you're having trouble removing the paint in the crease of the lips, wet a tissue and use your fingernail or a toothpick to get in there. Sometimes I squish the head to get the right angle too. There we go, all clean. Next, the hair. If you're going to keep your doll's original hair, go ahead and tuck it back using some scrap fabric and pins or saran wrap and tape, like in these clips from my other videos. If you plan on giving the doll new hair, now's the time to whack it off. I take my tiny sharp thread scissors and cut off the hair as close to the scalp as I can. Once that's done, we need to remove her head. Boil some hot water and dunk her in. I wait about 30 seconds or so before trying to tug off her head. Make sure to use a towel so you don't burn yourself. The neck peg inside is a funky shape, so keep that in mind as you work the head away from the body. The goal here is to try and bend the little plastic pegs as little as possible. If you have leftover hot water, make yourself some tea. <laughs> Next, we need to get rid of the stubble. Going in from the neck area, take your longest pair of needle nose pliers and start pulling out plugs. I have found if you insert the pliers closed and forcibly wriggle them around, the scraping motion will pull out the loose plugs as well. Keep hot water close by to re-soften the neck hole to make the job easier. There we go, she's all cleaned out. To be honest, this doll was unusually clean. I've never seen a doll with so little glue in her head before. I'm also going to remove the factory paint on her head because I'll be giving her a completely different hair color. I'm not going to show you how to re-root or wig a doll in this video. However, I show how I re-root hair in almost all of my other doll videos, so you can check those out if you'd like. At last, she's ready. Wash her face with warm soapy water to get the vinyl as clean as possible. Before we can begin painting on her face, we have to seal her first. I pop the head back on because I feel it's easier to work with that way. Protect what you don't want sprayed with a plastic bag. The purpose of this step is to give the face some texture for your materials to grab onto. I only use one coat of initial sealant, but I've heard other artists use up to six. It just depends how much tooth you want to build up on the surface before starting. Hold the doll about a foot away and thoroughly cover all sides of the face. When I'm done, I set her by the window and hope no birds come to take her away. Wait 30 minutes for the sealant to fully dry before starting the doll. It helps to plan your doll beforehand to prevent as many mess ups as you can. I've got some sketches here that I'll be using to base my Cleo on. 
Now the fun really begins. It's time to get to the face. Well, actually, the prepping stage of this video went on longer than I expected, so let's continue this in part two. I'll see you there. Annyeong!